Hi, my name is Emma. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. And it's a great look if you want to go to school or work and you don't really have a lot of time to get ready but you still want to look professional. Um, so if you would like to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so I've already primed my face using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And because I'm a little bit dehydrated, I'm also using the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream to give me a more awake look. And the first thing we're going to do is take our NARS Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And we're just going to put that right underneath our eyes in a triangular fashion. And I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and just blend that concealer into my skin. And then I'm also going to take that concealer <clears throat> and dab it on the tip of my nose, on the bridge, and then also on my forehead. And put the leftovers on my chin, under my nose, and then around my smile lines. Alright, and you're just going to blend that out until you're happy with the finish that you have. Because this is a fresh face look, we're not going to be using foundation today, so <clears throat> if you need to, you can use a concealer that, that is the same color as your skin and just cover up those problem areas that you may have. Next we're going to set our face, and I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I just like to tap it off into the lid and then I'm going to use this fluffy <clears throat> powder brush by IT Cosmetics and we're just going to swirl that brush into the lid and tap off the excess and then we're just going to lightly brush the powder onto our face to set that concealer that we just put down Once you're happy with the amount of powder you have on your face and your concealer is set and ready to go, um, you're going to next um, bronze up your face a little bit. And I like to use a Hula Bronzer by Benefit. And I'm just going to take this um, bronzing brush and swirl that into the powder. And then just lightly brush that on my face, around the perimeter, where my cheekbone shadow should be. Around my chin, or underneath my chin I guess, my jawline. And then down my neck as well. And that will give me that sun-kissed look that we all are missing in the winter time. Next I'm going to contour my face by using a MAC eyeshadow and this is in the shade Espresso. And I'm going to take a dense eye or a dense foundation brush and just get a little bit of that eyeshadow onto my brush and just lightly pat where my cheekbones should be. And then I also like to do <clears throat> my hairline, the outer parts of my hairline. And then once again, my jawline. And next I'm going to put on blush and I'm using the Bobbi Brown blush in the shade Nectar. And I'm just using a blush brush by Sonia Kashuk. I'm going to get some of that color onto my brush and then just tap it onto the apples of my cheeks. And then drag the product 
through so that it blends nicely with the bronzer and contour. And it does help to smile while you're putting on blush so that, that you can tell where your apples of your cheeks are. And next I'm going to highlight my face and I'm using the Shimmering Skin Perfector um, in the shade Opal. I just like to get some on my brush and then put that on the high points of my cheeks where the light would naturally hit my face. And then I like to put that on the tip of my nose as well, Cupid's bow, and then a little bit on my chin. And this will just give us a nice, fresh, glowy face without looking too highlighted. Next, we're going to move on to eyes. And I've been loving this Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the first thing I'm going to do is take this flat eyeshadow brush in the shade Tempura. I can show you shade Tempura. I'm just going to tap that onto my eyes. We'll get rid of all that red redness that's on my lids. And the first thing I'm going to do is take a fluffy blending brush by MAC in the shade Golden Ochre. This yellow neutral shade. And then we're just going to blend that into our crease and a little bit above our crease. And I like to, do, to look at my eyeshadow while I'm doing it in different angles so I can really see what it looks like in different lighting and that can help you kind of manipulate where the product where you want the product to go once you're happy with the eyeshadow and how it's blended we're going to move over to the next color which is warm taupe and we're going to basically do the same thing we did with the other color but we're just going to concentrate it more into the crease and on the outer edge of the eye and then bring it in Alright, <clears throat> and next I'm going to use the uh, blending brush that came with the palette and I'm going to take this dark orange shade called Raw Sienna and just dab some of that on my brush and really put that, concentrate that on the outer portion of the lid and then bring it in to the crease. And. Lastly, I'm going to take this burnt orange color in the palette and do the same thing that I did with the darker orange color, but concentrate it more on my lid and barely bring it up to my crease. And then I just like to take my blending brush that has hardly any color left on it and just blend the look. And I also like to go back with that flat eyeshadow brush that we used at the beginning and just brighten up the inner corners of my eyes. And now I like to take that warm taupe shape, shade that we used previously, take it on a, a little pencil brush, and mine is just from Bare Minerals, and bring that along the lower lash line. And last but not least, I'm going to take that burnt orange shade that we used previously and just bring that along the lower lash line, but just the outer half. Alright, once you're happy with that, yeah. we made, we cooked onions for breakfast today. My eyes are like reacting to it. <laughs> it's funny. Next, we're going to uh, curl our eyelashes. Alright, once your lashes are curled, you're going to take your favorite mascara, and I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm just going to brush that onto my lashes. And I'm trying my hardest to get as close to my lash line as I possibly can. And if you get 
some mascara on your lid. That's okay. We can just clean it up. And because this is an everyday look, I like to just put on a little bit of lip gloss because you don't have to pay too much attention when you're reapplying it, so you can do it wherever you're at, if you're in a meeting or at school. It's really easy to apply. Sorry my battery died, I had to switch cameras, but anyways, so the lip gloss I used was the Buxom lip gloss in the shade Claire, and it's a little, it has a little bit of a limp, lip plumper, so if you need that extra you got that. Alright, so once you're done with that look, you can do your hair however you want to. This is just my natural hair because usually in the mornings I don't have enough time to do my hair. So I just like to brush it out and kind of get it out of my face. And it looks nice and ready to go. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day!